The 75th anniversary of VE Day is a time of celebration, but 75 years ago VE Day must have been a day of so many emotions. Elation that the European war had come to an end, with a realisation that it was still going on with Japan, and a recognition that so many of our friends and neighbours had died. This parish on the eastern side of Plymouth City Centre had known loss in World War One. Eighty-one men did not return, and seventeen of those had been in our own boys' brigade, and many would remember the fundraising to create their World War One memorial that was now in the church. And now after World War Two, this small, densely populated parish has lost another 127 folk. Twenty-three on our own streets during the Blitz as the bombs missed the railway sidings and the church, but hit the homes. That post-war congregation was soon again fundraising to replace the damaged east window with its stained glass memorial to patron saints for soldiers, sailors and airmen, and create another list of the dead. The youngest was eight-year-old Sheila May Pengeli, who died in a blast at home with her parents, just behind the church at 12 Egerton Road. And therefore today, 75 years on, among the anniversary celebrations, a moment to remember the cost of war. Thank you. 